today I'm going to present to you the brand new next generation IT IP centric video platform that our engineers are currently working on and will be released in 2020. This new platform is both resolution and format independent. It is based on a unique, groundbreaking software development that relies on CPU and GPU processing power. Resources are allocated with 100% efficiency, accessing performance that is currently impossible to get with systems that are limited by their hardware architecture. The platform offers true uncompressed video processing, uncompressed 4K inputs, precision time protocol or PTP synchronization, and full support of baseband and IP signals such as SDI, ST2110 and NDI, all of which can be handled simultaneously. The evolution on that system over here is for me is groundbreaking because it gives me every level of freedom I can possibly think of. So talking about the mix and match of individual input formats, um, I can use an external um, high bandwidth switch or I can use also an external gateway into my server. Um, it's not the one or the other, I can mix and match both uh, technologies. Fully embracing the latest IP technologies, this platform is also ready for remote production and to be integrated in a full IP-based environment. Thanks to a very intuitive and user-friendly GUI and to a fully customizable interface, this platform also sets a new standard of usability, allowing to manage freely an unlimited number of video layers in real time. The control interface to the server in this case is my GUI or even several GUIs or even another touchscreen or in future a hardware panel as well. They're all participating in the same network and from here on I can build all my controls the way I can tailor it and customize it to my needs. Uh, I can use touch displays um, which I can interface on the network, I can use a separate display instances on a GUI. Um, these are all the controls I can have today. Compositing-wise, uh, we can more compare this to, let's say, Photoshop or Final Cut, uh, but for live video. That's the processing, what I'm, what I'm using in here. And, uh, I, I, however, if we're using one layer or we use ten layers, I only need to understand one layer. Uh, if the availability is everywhere the same, the tool set is everywhere the same, um, and this is so much more easier in order to deal with that hardware. As you probably have already guessed, this platform is not a dedicated tool. It can serve many purposes and offers many types of applications. It is also fully flexible and scalable thanks to its open architecture. It is possible to stack servers to get more processing power and more IOs. So typically nowadays we have uh, switches out there where we have, let's say, um, four MEs, let's give it a, a number of four MEs and each ME will have uh, eight keys, so in total I have and four MEs or five or whatever, and then I can split those MEs apart. But still, I'm always dealing with boundaries within a certain hardware limits. Uh, those hardware limits in the software-based solution does not exist. Uh, get back to the point of, of keys available in the hardware ME. If I give a director um, five keys in ME, he will ask me for six. If I give him 12, he will ask me for 13. Here, all of this is obsolete because I will create what I need and just build it on the fly. This system allows me to operate entirely resolution independent. So since I can retrieve my input signals from an SDI socket from any kind of network source, regardless of what is, even including frame rate conversion on the input side. As we have mentioned, this platform is based on uncompressed video and is both resolution and format independent. This means that we can technically meet any requirements whether it is to use it as a scaler, a pixel processor, a video server, or any kind of application. Last but not least, the platform offers a super low one-frame latency. This is a first for the market. Processing time for the system is down to one frame only, and we're proving this here, showing the two screens, where you see on the right screen uh, the signal coming straight from the server, and you see the superimposed counter within the video. And on the left screen, you see also the counter, but you see a Panasonic logo in the upper left corner and you see a soft edge wipe. And when you take a picture photo, you freeze the images in parallel, you will see there's an offset of only one frame, just to prove the latency though. In short, we have designed this platform to be the perfect solution for a smooth transition to IP workflows. There is simply no limit to what can be done.
you can get one platform and many applications with the best possible architecture.